Hi guys, Barnes here, and in this video, I will show you how to ride off a curb. Riding off a curb seems simple, but when you just started skating, it's terrifying. There is only one thing in your mind, I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall, I'm going to hurt myself, and the list goes on. It's normal, because you've never done it before, and it's hard to imagine what happens next if you make it. So if you ride your skateboard to school, all you want to do is just to roll all the way, but you have to stop every curb, lift up your board, push till the end, then lift up your board again. In the beginning, you always dip the nose or hit the tail, and it just seems hard till you learn it, and you did it at least 3-4 times so you're not afraid to do it anymore. That's why it's important to practice this in the beginning, and it's one of the very first things that you're going to learn in skateboarding, how to push, how to roll, and how to ride off a curb. So as you're getting more confident in your skateboard, you will realize, all you need is just simply being able to hold the front of your board up, otherwise your nose is going to hit the ground, and you're going to fall forward. So if you can lift up the front of your board just enough to be able to ride over a crack, that's still going to be enough and you are practicing your manuals as well. So here's a little curl, so you can see as I approach, I lift up just enough to keep the tip of my board in the air and to be able to go up smooth. Try not to lean back or the front, keep your body center over your board and you will roll away soon. Don't worry if the tail hits the curb a bit, that's fine as long as you roll away because you didn't dip the nose down. So you want to be able to keep your board level as you drop off the edge and if you had enough speed to clear it, you will be so happy because you learned something new. One thing that I do when I'm riding off something, as I start to go down the stairs or a curb, I always keep my eyes on the edge as I'm approaching it. And then I look where I'm going to land as I come off it. So here you can see me lift up the front just enough to keep my board level in the air and then I'll drop off, land on all four wheels and then I can roll away. So once you start skateboarding, even before you learn how to ollie, you should be pushing around, learn how to turn, and try to ride off curbs. When I skate and I see someone just started, one of the first things I teach to people is how to ride off a curb. Not only feels good, but you also realize, yes I might fall a couple times, but it's fine because I'm improving my skills and facing my fears. It helps to build up your confidence and you realize that you can do more on your skateboard. I think one of the funniest thing to do on your skateboard is just roll around and ride off curb and hit the tail to make some noise. So we learned how to ride off a curb and now it's your turn to go out and start to practice. If you have any questions or something to share, use the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for the next trick on Thursday, like and share this video if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the weekly videos, follow me on different socials, but as always, the most important is to go skate and have fun.